I've made a Daft Punk helmet, with Bluetooth connection and a visor with RGB LEDs. This is not a project that will teach you too much, but I think it just looks awesome and I wanted to show you how I've made it. A big thank you to Reese Brothers for sharing the STL files of the Daft Punk helmet. I've used the Arduino to control an addressable LED strip of 105 LEDs. The helmet also has a Bluetooth module. I've created a simple app in App Inventor that will send some short commands and change the mode of the display, or send the text to be displayed on the visor. The helmet also has a voice control mode, where the LEDs are flashing according to the audio amplitude. What's up my friend, welcome back. I'm Electronoops and this is my Daft Punk helmet, and this is a test for the sound control. As you can see while I'm talking, the LEDs are flashing from green to red. Ok, so that was the example. Before we start, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell in order to see my future videos. Also, thanks to all my patrons for the support. So, let's get started. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB, which upgraded their factory so now they can offer 5 pieces of common 2 layer PCBs with a production time of only 24 hours and that without any additional fees. So for that, prototyping become faster than before, but for the same low price. Upload the Gerber file, select the PCB settings, and order high quality PCBs for a few dollars. What's up my friends, welcome back. First, let me show you what this helmet could do. This here is the app that I've made in App Inventor. As you can see, it has a few buttons. First, I can set the brightness of the LEDs with a value from 10% to 100%. Then I have the text display. I could write any text here, and then when I press send, that will be scrolled on the visor with a predefined speed. The length of the text could be any length that you want. Next, I have an eye example. If I press this button, two eyes will move on the visor every 5 seconds. It is a very simple example, but in my opinion looks quite awesome. In the same way, the next example that I have is a cyborg line. If this option is selected, a white dot will slide from side to side, simulating a cyborg or a Robocop eye or something like that. I think this example looks kind of cool as well. Next, we have the rainbow example, where the LEDs will shuffle all the colors with a slow fade and this example looks awesome, right? We also have a random example, where each LED will turn on with a white color but on a random position at a very fast speed. This would simulate a glossy glamour example. Finally, we have the audio representation. The helmet circuit has an amplified microphone and will change the level and the color of the LEDs according to sound. Let's see an example. And that's it! Let's see how to make one. The first thing we need for this project is the 3D printed helmet. For that I've downloaded the STL files from this site. Once again thanks to Reese Brothers for this design. The download link is below. The helmet is made out of 3 main parts and the visor that I've printed with transparent PLA and you need a big printer of more than 240 by 240 mm of printing area in order to be able to print these files. I've used my Creality CR10 for all the files and it took me a total of around 30 hours. Once I had the files, I remove all the excess filaments and pass some sandpaper over the plastic to make the surface smoother. Now the Daft Punk helmet is metallic. For that I've bought some metallic spray paint. Spray one or two layers of metallic paint and let the parts to dry. Now you could use a primer before you paint these parts in order to achieve better results. I didn't have that for now, so I will just paint them directly. After a few hours, the paint is dry, so now we could glue the parts together. For that I've used some hot glue but also some super glue. I first glue the bottom and the middle part together. If you look close enough, the design has these small holes. First glue some plastic or metal sheets inside these holes, that will help you to join the parts together. Ok, so now the helmet is ready. But once I had everything glued together, I've applied another layer of paint to cover the joint lines, which are a little bit black. Now the plastic part is ready, so I'll put it aside, and it's time to make the visor with the LEDs. First of all, I've printed two visors, 
one to place the LEDs on and the other one to be on top of the LEDs. But you should do this only with transparent PLA filament. Ok, so this is the schematic for this project. I've used around 1.5 meters of this addressable LED strip, the WS2812. All it needs is a connection to 5 volts, ground and the data pin. We also need an Arduino Nano, the HC06 Bluetooth module, a small microphone module like this one and a 1 microfarad capacitor. To supply the helmet I will use a LiPo battery of 11.1 volts. Ok, so first thing that I've made was to cut 7 strips of 15 LEDs each. You will see that each strip has a small arrow here between the LEDs. The strip must go in a zigzag formation, meaning that the first row will have the arrows to the left, the second to the right and so on. I removed the protection tape on the back and I glued the strips onto the visor, always having in mind the direction of the arrows. Then I've made the connections between each row with some thin wires for 5 volts, ground and the data pin, as in the schematic. I also soldered 3 longer wires that will be connected to the Arduino and the visor is ready. Before I put the visor inside of the helmet, I make some tests in order to make sure that everything works. So I connect ground and 5 volts to one Arduino Uno for tests and the data pin to digital pin D9. I also connect the microphone module to analog input A0 and the Bluetooth module will be connected to the RX and TX pins but after I upload the code. So go below and download the final code of this project. Also make sure that you download and install the NeoPixel libraries. So I upload the code and connect the Bluetooth module. I supply the Arduino with a USB cable for now and give it a test. I make sure that all the modes work using my app on my smartphone. Now that I know that everything works, I solder the cables to a smaller Arduino Nano. I add the microphone and the Bluetooth module with longer wires. Now I first glue the visor without LEDs inside of the plastic helmet. Then I add the visor with the LED strip and I glue the Arduino and the Bluetooth module on the right ear. I put the microphone close to my nose and the battery below the mouth. And that's it, this is how the circuit is glued inside of the helmet. To power it on, for the battery connection, I have these pins here. Plug this connector and the circuit will be powered on. And the helmet is ready, so let's see how to control it with the smartphone. So on the other side, in App Inventor, I have created this app with a few buttons. So let me show you how this works in App Inventor. For example, if I insert a new brightness value, I first send the B character and then I send the brightness value. In the code, when I receive the B, I save the new brightness and then I set that value to the LEDs. When I send a new text, I send the T character, then I send the text to be displayed. So in the code, when I detect the received byte equal to T, and then I save the entire text that will be scrolled onto the display. I do the same for all the buttons but using different characters. So read all the comments in the code for more. And that's it! I save the app and copy it to my smartphone. You have the schematic, the code and this app below ready for download, in case you want to make the same project. You will also find some example codes separately with scrolling text, rainbow colors and so on, without the Bluetooth connection, just in case you want to use this for other projects. So install the app to your smartphone and open the Bluetooth settings. Search for devices and select the HC06. Pair to this module using the 1234 or 0000 password. Now open the app. Now click the Bluetooth button and select the HC06. So now we are connected. I first send the text and it will start scrolling onto the display. So now let's test the brightness. I set the brightness to 30%. And there you go. Now I set it to 10%, which is a little bit weak as you can see. Now I set it to 40, which is already bright enough. And at 100% it is very bright. Now I type a new text. I type how are you and press send. And as you can see, the new text is now scrolling onto the visor. Pretty cool, right? Ok, so now I press the I button. As you can see, now I have two eyes moving around. This is a very simple example. In the same way, I now press the cyborg button and the white dot is now moving from side to side. 
If you want, once you have the LED strip display, you could create any loop that you want and give more options to this setup. Next I hit the rainbow option and here we have all the LEDs turned on and fading from one color to the other. I think this is a very cool effect that you could give to this project. So many colors make this helmet look awesome. In the same way we have the random button that will shine white LEDs randomly. Ok, so finally I activate the spectrum button. I place some music near the microphone and this is the result. Now this is not the real music spectrum, this won't work with frequencies, only with amplitude of the sound. Depending on the amplitude of the sound, the LEDs will go more to the red color or to the green color. I have to tune a bit this option since the microphone that I'm using is not that good. The analog output that it gives is very bad. But I could control this with my voice, so that's pretty good for now. And controlled by an Android smartphone, so let's get started. And finally, of course, we have the button that will turn everything off. Ok guys, so that was it for this project. Quite simple, but in my opinion, this is a very cool project. If you have a 3D printer, building this project will cost you less than $20. You have a full part list below with all that you need, and more details on my webpage electronoops.com. Feel free to improve the code, and if you like this kind of projects, consider supporting me on Patreon. I hope that you like this video, and if so, make sure you subscribe and activate the notification bell for future videos. Also, click the like button like crazy and share this video with your friends. And remember that your help on Patreon means a lot for me, and will keep these kind of videos going. So thanks again and see you later guys.